from Tantara in the Katanga, uh, Tantara mine, famous for some very, very beautiful specimens. You have a solid mass of uh, Shatukite with little uh, uh, botoids. Uh, uh, I think on the cross section you'll see the, the, the star formation or the little star bursts of the Shatukite, uh, uh, fine little crystals turning into appearing like botoids. On this section, you have some malachite growing. Now, at a stage, there was a diaptase associated with these two. Now, I've had a few pieces on my latest batch, and uh, I haven't found any diaptase associated. So here we're talking the, the white material would be chrysocolla, the dark blue, the mass would be uh, the Shatukite, and then the green crystal sitting on that would be the uh, diapte, I mean the uh, malachite. Uh, it's going here. The black material, of course, would be some girthite. I think on on a, a very close up inspection, you'd find that it's it's uh, the the cubic formation girthite, formerly known as limonite. So let's. Uh, I I quite enjoy this uh, uh, display. This is a pretty accurate color. Maybe a little bit lighter than what you see. Can be put on a turntable this way around, going all the way around. Different aspect here. Going across like that, going in like that, going in like that. Then we can have it like this. Let's go in over here. There's also a very interesting uh, little deposit on the side here. Full of adventure, full of little uh, little things happening. So one can explore this guy right around. Of course, visually appealing, yet under magnification, I can promise you this is a different world you see here. Look at that. That. And then, of course, let's let's go into let's focus a bit on the section where the malachite is. I'm going to see how close we can get in there to actually show you the tiny botoids of the of the shatukite malachite. So that is that's a pretty accurate indication of the color. Let's see how close we can get before the the light blows out on this one.